Good evening and welcome. Welcome to our prayers for this evening. Compliments of the season, one more time. I wish you a Merry Christmas. And I wish you a very, very happy 2023. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you've made it possible for us to assemble for part two of our prayers tonight. We ask that you come and help us. Give us the anointing to lead and give your people the anointing to pray. Let our prayers not be returned to us unanswered. Now let us have mercy at the throne of mercy and answer all our prayers tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. All God's people everywhere said amen. And amen is good to have you back for day two of our two-day series that we have themed joy and peace to your world. It is a theme that uh, is specifically selected to coincide with this very important season of the year. And as I said on yesterday, he came, he lived, he died, and he rose that we might all have joy and that we might all have peace. Joy and peace that he alone can offer. And as many as make him their Lord and their Savior, they are guaranteed to have these two experiences of joy and peace. Well, you see, we are not saved so we can experience the joy and peace of knowing that we are going to heaven alone. That's not the only reason why we are saved. But we are also saved so heaven can come down into your world and into my world. So we can have joy and peace in our homes, joy and peace on our jobs, in our businesses, in our marriages, and wherever we are and whatever we do here on earth. That is why, ladies and gentlemen, praying for these valuable experiences is a must for all believers. Because, you see, it is possible to have joy and peace inside us, but not have joy and peace around us. It's what I mean by that. It's possible to be surrounded by things that don't bring you joy to be surrounded by things that don't bring you peace. Yes. May God use the prayers of tonight to give us all round peace. Peace by all means. That's how the Bible puts it. Because that was what Jesus Christ came for. According to Luke chapter 2 in verse number 13. And suddenly the Bible says, there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, what did they say? Glory to God in the highest and on earth. What's the next word? Peace. Yes. Goodwill toward men. Peace and goodwill toward men. If you fall under the category of a human being, then I can say for sure <laughs> that you need peace in your life. I need peace in my life. Peace to your world is a great, great, great necessity. That was what Jesus was born for. And that was what Jesus lived for. And by the way, that was what he died and resurrected for. The Bible tells us in Isaiah chapter 53, verse number 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace 
was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Not only was he born for our peace, not only did he live for our peace, but he also died for our peace. John 14, 27, my favorite scripture here says, Peace! That was when he was living. I live with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Oh, we got some powerful scriptures to use in praying tonight. If you know someone who is not with us yet, please give them a call. Send them a text message. We had a house full of people yesterday, and I know everyone that was here yesterday would love to come back tonight. But please, there are people that were not here yesterday. Give them a call. Send them a text. Send them the link so they can come. You know, I keep saying this. We all need peace. In our world, I remember years ago, years ago, when my children were growing up, during the Christmas season like this, they would all come to me and say, Dad, what do you want for Christmas? The answer I always gave them was, I want peace. (laughs) Because peace is more than any gift anybody can give you. Peace is more than any present anybody can give you. So they stopped coming to me because they will always say, well, if you go to dad during Christmas and you ask him what he wants, he will just say, I want peace. Don't you want peace this Christmas? If nobody gives you a gift, if you can just have peace, peace at home, peace at work, peace in your health, peace in your extended family, that is bigger and greater than any gift anybody can give you. What is peace? What is peace? I know it's the name of somebody's daughter. But beyond that, peace is freedom from disturbance. That's what it is. Peace is tranquility. Peace is a state in which there is no war. Or a state in which war has come and gone. That's the definition of peace. And we need this definition to be established in your life and in my life. Take note of it and embrace it literally. We'll praise for peace tonight. Peace as opposed to distress. Peace as opposed to frustration. Peace as opposed to upsetting situations. That's what we need. Peace, as opposed to war. Peace, as opposed to issues that make us worry, that give us concern. Look at the last verse I read again. Peace I live with you, and my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, Neither let it be afraid. If he has left it with us, talking about peace, then we should be willing to inherit it. If he has given it to us, then we should be willing to claim and embrace it. Not the one that the world gives. That one can be broken. That one can be taken away. I'm talking about peace that no one can take from you. This peace is the rest from war and the rest from troubles that only the Prince of Peace can give us. And we find this peace in many, many other scriptures. Let me run through some of them for you and we will use them to pray tonight. 2 Samuel chapter 7 and verse 1. And it came to pass, When the king sat in his house, listen to the next statement, and the Lord hath given him rest round about from all his enemies. That's our prayers tonight. That the Lord will give us a gift, will give us rest round about from all enemies. That's what God can do for a man. That's what God can do for a woman. Look at the next scripture, Joshua chapter 21, verse 44. And the Lord gave them rest round about 
according to all that he swear unto their fathers. And there stood not a man of all their enemies before them. And the Lord delivered their enemies into their hand. We're going to pray that scripture tonight also. And then we read in Joshua chapter 23 in verse number 1. The Bible says it came to pass. A long time after the Lord had given rest unto Israel from all his enemies. All their enemies. Round about. Look at the next statement. I love this. That Joshua waxed old and stricken in age. Does that say something to you? The Bible says, after God had given rest to Israel and all his enemies round about, that's the first part. After that was done, then Joshua was old and he was stricken in age. Do you see what I see there? I hope you do. God gave Joshua rest and peace while he could enjoy them. It was after he got his rest and his peace that he later waxed old and he became stricken in age. You know what my prayer for myself is and what my prayer for you is? May you not fight and fight and fight and fight and know no peace till you enter the grave. This man won all the wars, and then he enjoyed years of rest, years of peace. May that be your portion, my friend. Second Kings chapter 4, verse 24. For he had dominion over all the region on this side, the river, and Tipshash, and Ezra, over all the kings on this side of the river. Look at the last statement. And he had peace on all sides round about. We're going to pray about this roundabout peace. You know what that means? In every area of your life, in your health, peace. Concerning your children, peace. Concerning your business, peace. Concerning your ministry, peace. Concerning your husband, your wife, peace. Wow! That's the kind of peace we need, people, round about, in all sides, so that there is no side that you look at and say, wow, I wish I had peace in this area. If not for this area that is making me restless, my life would have been better. That's what God wants to give you, and that's what God wants to give me. First Kings chapter 5, verse 4, but now the Lord my God hath given me a rest. It's a gift. Oh, it's a gift. Are you ready to receive it tonight? It's a gift. The Lord my God has given me rest on every side. Wow. So that there is neither adversary nor evil occurrence. Is that possible? Well, if God did it for him, he can do it for you. You are the next candidate that will be able to say no adversary, no evil occurrence. All the witches... They've retired. They've left me alone. All the wizards, all the marine powers, all the problems from my in-laws, God has retired all of them. No more evil occurrence. Why will there be evil occurrence when the enemies have been retired? God, give us this experience of peace. Look at how Job, the book of Job summarizes it in Job 34 verse 29. And I cannot wait to pray this with you tonight. When he giveth quietness, and that is peace also. When God giveth quietness, who then can make trouble? Ha ha! When God giveth quietness, tell me, who can make trouble? Now that's what we are believing God for. That God will give us the quietness. And anybody that wants to make trouble, the angels will say, shh, don't make any noise. God has already given him. God has already given her quietness. Get out of the way. I love that. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16. This is my favorite scripture. Now the Lord of peace himself. Isn't that beautiful? The Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means. The Lord be with you all. Ah, I say a big amen to that. Is the Lord of peace himself that can give you peace by all means. 
You cannot go to a witch doctor and get peace by all means. You cannot go to uh, uh, a root worker or a voodoo practitioner or a juju man and get peace by all means. Uh uh. Real peace by all means, they come from the God of peace. May He extend that to us. He's already given us peace in our hearts. Now I want Him to give us peace in our marriages, peace in our ministries, peace in our homes. Peace for our children. Peace for our parents. I'm talking about all-round peace. You know what? All the troublemakers that are troubling you and the peace destroyers that are troubling you, they are in big trouble tonight. Numbers chapter 6 verse 26. This was the prayer that the high priest prayed. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee. And give thee peace. You know what God is going to do? He's going to lift up his countenance upon you. Yes. You that is listening to me tonight. You that is praying with me tonight. And God will give you peace. Did you know that peace and rest of mind are blessings that even the unsaved people pray for? I was surprised. When I found this in the Bible, that even those who are not born again, those who are not saved, those who hate God, they ask for peace. Let me show you the prayer that Nebuchadnezzar of all people, Nebuchadnezzar of all people, look at what Nebuchadnezzar said in Daniel chapter 4 in verse 1. Nebuchadnezzar the king, unto all people, Unto all nations, unto all languages that dwell in the earth. You know what he said next? Peace be multiplied unto you. Can you imagine Uncle Nebuchadnezzar praying that peace be multiplied unto people? Wow! And it's a peace troubler, you know. But he knew the importance of peace. So he said, no, 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 no. I don't want peace to be added to you. It's not addition. It's multiplication I want. Wow. That's my question tonight. Please give me a, a, a minute. We are going to pray the prayer of Nebuchadnezzar tonight. Yes. Because Nebuchadnezzar prayed a prayer that is so doctrinally sound. That God will multiply peace to you. It's your portion, my friend. Oh, but he was not the only king that prayed that kind of prayer. Darius, Darius of all people, also prayed that kind of prayer in Daniel chapter 6, in verse 25. And King Darius wrote unto all people, all nations, all languages that dwell in the earth. You know what he wrote to them? Peace be multiplied unto you. You receive it? May I receive it, oh, may I receive it. Do you know what? Even David, King David, he prayed the same prayer for Nabal. You remember Nabal, the senseless guy, the son of Belial? Do you know that David prayed the same prayer for him before he showed that he was really a son of Belial? Let me read it to you in 1 Samuel 25, in verse number 6. And thus shall ye say to him, that is Nabal, that liveth in prosperity. Look at the prayer. Peace be both to thee, and peace be to thine house, and peace unto all that thou hast. Isn't that a sound prayer to pray, whether for a sinner or for a saint? Peace be to you, peace be to your house, peace be to all that you have. That means even your automobile, your automobile needs peace. Yes. The refrigerator in your house, it needs peace. Everything you have. We are going to cover everything in prayer tonight that God will give us all around peace for everything that we have. That includes the organs in your body. Psalm 29 verse 11. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Did you hear that? You know, there are many blessings we receive from the hands of God. But you know what? I don't want God to bless me with any blessing if peace is not part of it. Because if you receive a blessing and there's no peace there, you are not going to enjoy the blessing. So he said, the Lord will give you strength and the Lord will bless you with peace. Ah, if you can have peace, then you can have everything else. If you don't have peace, you don't have anything else. 
Isaiah 54 verse 10, For the mountains shall depart, and the hills shall be removed. But God said, My kindness shall not depart from thee, neither shall the covenant of peace be removed. I pray for you. The peace that you have right now is a covenant between you and God. Many of you have so much peace. There's nothing that troubles you. There's nothing that shakes you. It's a covenant of peace that you are enjoying. We are going to pray tonight. This joy that I had, the world didn't give it to me. The world, the world didn't give it, and the world cannot take it away. This peace that you have is a covenant between you and God. And the world did not give it to you, and the world did not take, cannot take it away. You are reminding me of songs we used to sing down south. Isaiah 66 verse 12. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will extend peace to her like a river. Did you hear that? God said, I will extend peace to you like a river, an ever-flowing river. And I alluded to that yesterday when I was talking about joy. You'll have joy like a river. You'll have peace like a river. And I'm talking about an ever, ever, ever-flowing stream. Haggai, chapter 2, verse 9. The glory of the Father, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the glory of the former, saith the Lord of hosts. And in his place will I give peace, saith the Lord of hosts. In your, in your place, God will give you peace. Philippians chapter 4, you know this one very well. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. You know, there is some kind of peace that is past all understanding. You yourself will look at yourself and say, how come I'm so peaceful in the middle of all this storm, in the middle of all this turmoil? How come I'm so peaceful? And that's the kind of peace that God gives, the peace of God that passes your understanding and that passes the understanding of those who are looking at you. First Chronicles 29, 22, 9. Behold, a son shall be born unto thee. That's talking about Solomon. Who shall be a man of rest? Isn't that wonderful? In fact, that's going to be our last prayers tonight. It says, a son shall be born unto thee. Who shall be a man of peace? He shall be a man of rest. He shall be given rest from all his enemies round about. And I will give him peace and quietness. Wow. And I will give peace and quietness to Israel all his Days. Won't you like that to be the uh, portion of your children? That these your children that are running from pillar to post today, they are in Houston, tomorrow they are in England, and they are trying to make both ends meet. Can we pray for them tonight? And your daughters also. That the God of heaven will make your daughters and your sons children of rest. Rest from all their enemies. That they will not inherit the restlessness that you have gone through in your life. And those of you who don't have children yet, that the children that will yet be born to you, why don't you start praying for them now? And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ shall be yours. It says, I will lay down in peace, and I will sleep in peace, because the Lord makes me dwell safely. That's Psalm 4 verse 8. And then in Philippians chapter 4 verse 7, And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding. And then in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16, my last scripture for tonight, and the God of peace himself shall give you peace always by all means. The Lord be with you all. Amen and amen. I pray for everybody on this prayer line tonight that the Lord will be with you all, that you'll be able to pray with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and that as you pray, God will do something marvelous in your lives. Let's go before God. We've got 35 minutes to get this done. We will do it. we got about 50 minutes, God helping us. I want you to thank God for bringing us together again tonight to pray about another, another, another reason for the coming of Christ. Thank God. Thank God. Give him praise, give him glory, give him honor all across this world. Every one of you in Africa, I see some of you here. Every one of you in Europe, every one of you in Asia, every one of you in Canada, every one of you in the United States. Thank you for coming. I want us to just thank God for another reason for the coming of Christ and so that we can have peace. Why don't you say, Lord, I bless you 
for the peace of God in my heart right now. Hallelujah. I've got peace like a river. Peace like a river in my soul. I wanted to say, Lord, I thank you for your peace. Thank God. The policeman can go in front of your door and you have nothing to worry about. The policeman can come knocking on your door and you say, yes, can I help you? You can come in and sit down. And he says, no, I'm looking for Mr. So-and-so. Well, Mr. So-and-so doesn't live here. You don't see the police car and run. Peace. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for peace. We thank you for peace in our hearts. Because of the coming of Christ, we thank you for the peace of God that salvation brings to us, Lord Jesus. I want you to thank him for the peace of God around your life because of the mercy of God. You look at your children, there is peace. You look at your business, there is peace. You look at your family, there is peace. You look at your relationships, there is peace. It's the mercy of God, oh, it's not you, oh, it's God. Father, we just bless you. We, we thank God. You remember when you used not to have peace with your in-laws when they were out to destroy you and God put them in their place. <laughs> Hallelujah. Look at your job. Look at that woman. Look at that useless woman that was troubling you and God just put her in her place and transferred her to Wyoming or to Arizona desert. Look at God. He gave you peace and the one that was troubling your feet, your peace. God moved them out. Your mother-in-law that was a troublemaker. God moved her out. Father God will just give you praise will bless your name for the peace of God around my life because you are so merciful all of us here tonight all we want is peace oh God there is no man no woman on this prayer line that does not want peace thank him because in spite of the battles against your peace you are still moving forward glory to God you still have your sanity glory to God in spite of all the wars in spite of all the battles against your life God is still helping you to walk in peace and enjoy the peace of God. Some people, they will have run crazy going through what you have been through. But you've been through it and you're still saying, praise the Lord. You've been through it and you're still saying, I give God the glory. All the bad news that have come, you are still rising above the turmoil of life and peace is still yours. Glory be to his name. Thank him for not allowing enemies of peace to prevail over you. Oh, hey. Lord, I give you praise. God, I give you glory for not allowing the enemies of peace to prevail over our lives. Pastor Richard, all the way from Kenya, I greet you tonight or maybe this morning your time anyway. Thank him for not allowing the enemies of peace to prevail over my life. Look at people all across the world. They are getting up in the middle of the night to pray with us. I want to just thank God tonight. Thank God tonight for not allowing the enemies of your peace on, in the church. Enemies of your peace in the family. Enemies of your peace uh, in your school. Enemies of your peace wherever you find yourself to prevail over your life. They've tried, oh, but they've always failed. Glory to God. Father, we'll bless your name. We'll worship you. I want you to pray that God will increase your level of peace as a result of the prayers of tonight. I got some prayer points for you. Over 50 of them. Get ready to pray tonight. I want you to pray that God will give you the grace to be able to pray tonight. Say, oh, Lord, give me the grace. Give me the grace to be able to pray, to be able to call upon you tonight. Give me the strength, oh God, to be able to cry unto you tonight. I want you to pray, 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 pray. Grace to focus. Even as we pray about peace tonight, the Lord will give it to you. The Lord will give it to me. We need peace. Who doesn't need peace? Look at the kind of husband you have. Look at the kind of wife you have. Is it not the peace of God that has been keeping you? Maybe your ex-husband, maybe your ex-wife. Look at the kind of boss you have. Oh my God, we need peace in many areas of our lives. Uh, Father God, we just pray that you will just give us the strength to pray and to focus tonight, uh, even as we pray for continued peace tonight. Uh, that sin will not hinder your prayers. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Uh, say, Father, any sin of omission, any sin of commission, uh, let them not be able to hinder my prayers tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, I pray that you will wash me, you will cleanse me, you will purge me, you will purify me of any sin of omission, any sin of commission in my 
my heart and in my life tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want you to break the power of unbelief in this prayer line tonight that nothing will be able to hinder your people from praying. Nothing will be able to hinder your people from trusting. Nothing will be able to hinder your people from believing you in the name of Jesus. Why don't you let's pray for our loved ones, our family members who don't have the peace of God in their hearts. Say, oh Lord, seek them out and find them and let them find the peace of God. Mention them by names, especially the troublemakers in your family, the peace killers in your family. They are killing peace and fighting your peace because they don't have the prince of peace in their hearts. Say, oh Lord, I pray for all the witches and wizards and troublemakers against my life. It's because they don't have Jesus in their lives. That's why they are fighting my peace. Oh Lord, reveal yourself to them. Bring them to the knowledge of the truth. In the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray that God will seek your family members out. God will seek your co-workers out. God will seek the people in your neighborhood out who don't know Jesus and consequently don't have the peace of God in their hearts. That oh Lord, find them out, seek them out and let them find the peace of God in their hearts and their lives. Our mothers and our fathers, our religious friends all around us, they go to church. This Christmas, they are all dancing. They are all happy. They are singing Christmas carol, but they don't have Jesus in their hearts. Oh God, let them find the peace of God. Pray for your wife. Pray for your uncle. Pray for your husband. Pray for your friends that during this season, they will find the Prince of Peace in their hearts in the name of Jesus, our family members that have not found the peace of God, let them come to know you, O oh God. And people on this prayer line, even on this prayer line, that don't know Jesus Christ as the peace of their lives, that the Lord will reveal himself to them as their peace of peace in the name of Jesus. Father, bring peace to people on this prayer line. Bring peace to people on our jobs. Bring peace to the hearts of people in our families. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Prince of Peace, let it be said, let it be written that December 2022, many people came to know the Prince of Peace as they celebrate in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Can we pray tonight? Say, my father, come on, pray, pray. Say, my father, say, flood. Yes, we need a flood. Say, flood my environment with your peace. Say, my father, my God, flood my environment with your peace. Peace. Papa, flood my environment with your peace. Peace at home. Peace in my marriage. Peace on my job. Peace in my work. Peace in my business. Peace in my profession. Peace in my academic life. Oh Lord, as you have brought your peace into my heart, bring your peace also into my environment. Let me have peace in my environment all around me, oh God. Come and open your mouth and talk to the Lord tonight. That the Lord who has brought peace into your heart, the Lord who has brought peace into your life, we also bring peace into your environment. You know how many times you feel sorrowful because you look at your your life, you look at your business, look look at your profession, you look at your home, you look at your marriage, you look at your school, and you say, no, there's not enough peace in this area. Say, Lord, flood my environment during this Christmas season. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, flood my environment, O oh Lord, with your peace, O oh God. Give me peace, O oh Lord, with my children. Give me peace, O oh Lord, with my extended family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I told you it's one thing to have peace inside. It's another thing to have peace without. I want you to pray tonight. Say peace within, peace without. 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 Papa, let that be my portion. Let that be my portion, oh God. Give me peace within my heart. Give me peace around my life. Give me peace within my heart. Give me peace around my life. Open your mouth and pray tonight that the God of peace will give you peace in your heart and you already have it. Then say, God, give me peace around my life in the name of Jesus. Mention areas of your life where there is no peace right now. Say, oh Lord, send your peace. Send your peace into my marriage. Send your peace into my finances. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mercy 
Kasi, I see you from Nigeria. God bless you. Thank you for joining us tonight. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, peace within, peace without. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray to the Lord tonight. Say every prayer I've been praying for you, oh God. Give me the peace of knowing my prayers are answered. In the name of Jesus, you know, when you have your prayers answered, there is a peace that comes upon your life. Say, oh Lord, show me your mercy so I can have peace concerning every prayer that I've been praying about to you about. Don't leave your peace out of the list of my blessings, oh God. In the name of Jesus, did you hear what I just said? Say, oh Lord, say, oh Lord, say, oh Father, don't leave peace out of the list of blessings that you bestow upon my life. Oh God, add peace to my list of blessings tonight. You know, we have list of blessings we're asking God for. We are saying, God, give me this. God, give me that. God, give me that. But if peace is not one of them, you will not enjoy any of those blessings. So say, oh Lord, of all the blessings you plan on giving me, don't leave peace out of them. Don't leave peace out of them. List of blessings. Bestow peace. Add peace. Lord, add peace. Papa, add peace to all the blessings that you bestow upon my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Why did Jesus come? Why did Jesus die? Why did Jesus leave? Why did Jesus resurrect? Is it not because of peace? Oh Lord, let the peace for which you were born be manifested in my life. Pray, 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 pray. Let the peace for which you lived, let it be manifested in my life. Let the peace for which you resurrected, let it be manifested in my life. Begin to manifest, begin to manifest, begin to manifest in all areas of my life. The peace for which you came, the peace for which you died, the peace for for which you resurrected, the peace for which you are coming back again. Let it be manifested. Let it be manifested in my marital life. Let it be manifested in my academic life. Let it be manifested in my marital life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says the chastisement of our peace was upon him. I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, the purpose of your chastisement. You know why they hit Jesus Christ on the back? You know why he's body was bleeding. You know why it was chastised? It's so that you can have peace. Why should Jesus be beaten in vain? Jesus, Jesus, why should you be chastised in vain? Oh Lord, the purpose of your chastisement, let it be manifested in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, Son of God, don't be beaten in vain. You are beaten in so that I can have peace. Peace in my heart. Peace around my life. Papa, let it be, let it be, let it be tonight. Papa, let it be, let it be, let it begin to manifest tonight. Peace, oh God, from the chastisement on you, Lord Jesus. The purpose, the reason for your chastisement. He was chastised for our peace because the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, the chastisement of your peace was upon him. Ah, ah, oh Lord, let me receive it. Papa, let me have it in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want to say, Lord Jesus. Come on, come on, say, Lord Jesus. You know what Jesus said? He said, my peace I leave to you. My peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. I'm not the one who said it. It was Jesus who said it. He said, my peace I live with you. My peace I give unto you. Open your mouth and say, Lord, let it be my portion. Let it be my portion. The peace that you left. The peace that you gave. Come on. The peace that you left. The peace that you gave, Lord. The peace that you left. The peace that you gave. Oh, Lord, let it be my portion tonight. Let it be my portion during Christmas 2022. Let it go into the history of my life. That peace came, peace stayed as a result of the prayers of tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and say, Lord Jesus, oh, let the peace you left and the peace you gave, let them be my portion. Let them be my portion. The peace you said, I leave unto you. The peace you say, I give unto you. Papa, let them be my portion tonight. In the name of Jesus. 
us. He has left peace for you. Oh, say, I claim that inheritance. It's like an inheritance that a father leaves for his children. You leave it for them. They inherit it. Say, I inherit the peace that Jesus left tonight by faith. Come on, open your mouth and pray, please. Please pray. You need peace. Don't tell me you don't need peace. Who doesn't need peace? Oh, Lord, the peace that Jesus left. Oh, Lord, I claim it as an inheritance by faith. The peace that Jesus Christ gave, the peace that Jesus Christ gave, I receive by faith tonight. The peace he left, I inherit. The peace he gave, I receive. Come on, open your mouth and pray. The peace he left, oh Lord, I inherit it tonight. The peace he gave, oh Lord, I receive it tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, can I ask you to claim something else? Say tonight, tonight, tonight. Maybe it's this morning where you are in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight I claim rest from war. I claim rest from war. I claim rest from troubles. I claim rest from war. I claim rest from troubles. Claim it, claim it, claim it. Say in the name of Jesus. Come on, say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I claim this evening rest from war, rest from troubles that the Prince of Peace has given, that the Prince of peace has brought. I claim rest from war. Many of you have been fighting wars. Those who are fighting you are even dead. But the war is still here, Papa. Oh God. Whether those who are fighting me are alive or dead, Jesus is alive. I want you to, Lord, to give me rest from war. Rest from troubles. Rest from war. Rest from troubles. War at work. War at home. War with the in-laws. War with the neighbors. Troubles all around. Papa, give me rest. Papa, give me rest. Open your mouth. Give me peace. Open your mouth. Cry to God for it. Papa, release peace for us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, my God, keep me from troubles of life that take away peace from the heart. Mm. 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 Say, Lord, Keep me from troubles of life that take away peace from the heart. In the name of Jesus. You know what I'm talking about? You are restless. And people are saying, what is wrong with you? What is happening to you? And you say, it is this thing that is troubling me. Oh, it is some trouble that came up on the job. Oh, it is some trouble that came up from my husband. Oh, my husband is a troublemaker. Oh, my wife is a troublemaker. Oh, my parents are troublemakers. Oh, I want you to pray, Lord, keep me from troubles of life that take away peace from the heart, that take away peace from my health, that take away peace from, 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 from any area of my life. I want you to pray tonight, oh Lord, keep me from troubles, health troubles, health troubles, money troubles, children troubles, marriage troubles, all troubles. Papa, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, keep me from all troubles of life. Papa, deliver me from all troubles of life that steal peace from the heart. In the name of Jesus, health troubles, they steal peace from the heart. Money troubles, ah, may you never have money trouble. Money troubles, they seek, they steal peace from the heart. Marital troubles. Have you ever come across marital troubles? May it not be your portion. Oh, they take away peace from the heart. I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, my fears, my fears, my fears, my fears. Do you have anything that you are afraid of tonight? Say, oh Lord, remove far from me my fears. Fears that destroy peace. Remove them far from my heart. Fears that destroy peace. You know what I'm talking about. They diagnose you and they say, I think we think you have this sickness. We think you have this disease. We think this, we think that they are not even sure. And you know what happens? Peace is out of your heart. And then you do a test and they say, come for the test, uh, for the result on Monday. Ah, you know what happens? You did it. You do the test on Thursday and it will be, it will be Monday before the result comes out. Friday, no peace. Saturday, no peace. Sunday, no peace. Monday, no peace. Until you get the result. I want you to pray that all my fears right now, oh God, all my fears right now that are real, all my fears that are imagined. Did you hear what I said? 
all my fears that are real, all my fears that are imagined fears that are destroying my peace. Papa, deliver me. Papa, deliver me. Papa, deliver me. Papa, deliver me in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray right now that whatever fears you are dealing with right now, mention them to God. We all have our different fears. Say, my Father. Say, my God. Whatever fears I am dealing with right now, I soak them in the blood of Jesus and I reject them by fire, by force. Every fear that I am dealing with in my life, Papa, I soak them in the blood of Jesus and I reject them from my life. Every fear that I'm having that I will never have a child. Every fear that I'm having that I will not deliver my baby safely. You know, every stage of life, they have fears that come with them. You are single, you are not married, then you begin to be afraid that you will never get married. And fear envelopes your life. Finally, you get married. First month, second month, third month, you don't get pregnant. You are afraid and it takes peace from your mind. I want you to pray today in the name of Jesus. Then you get mad, you get pregnant and now to deliver the baby, fear comes again. That will I be able to have a healthy baby? Will this baby come out fine? All kinds of fears. And then after you have the baby, you are afraid of something else. I want you to pray all the fears in my life, oh God, that take away peace from my life. In the name of Jesus. Papa, remove them. Papa, take them off. Papa, remove them. Papa, take them off. Papa, remove them. In the name of Jesus. All the fears I'm dealing with right now tonight. All the fears I'm dealing with during this Christmas season. Papa, evaporate them from my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that God will help you to be different from the world. The world does not have God. You have God. Say peace that the world does not have. Papa, let me have a manifest it and walk in it. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Say whatever is disturbing my peace right now, lose your hold. Whatever is disturbing my mind right now, lose your hold on me. Open your mouth, take authority right now. Say whatever it is that is disturbing my mind, whatever it is that is disturbing my rest of mind, whatever it is that is disturbing my peace, I bind you. I cast you out of my life. I cast you out of my mind. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray. Those of you who have the habit of allowing things to that good disturb your mind. I want you to say in the name of Jesus, I release myself. I release my mind. I release my thought from the bondage of thinking about things. In the name of Jesus, say my Lord and my God, give me a life. Give me a life. Give me a life that is free from disturbance of peace. Anything that disturbs peace. Anything that disturbs rest of mind. Oh Lord, remove far from me. Oh Lord, remove far from me. Let me rest. Say Papa, let let me rest in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, give me total deliverance. Are you praying with me tonight? Say, Father, give me total deliverance. Papa, give me complete deliverance. Oh Lord, give me total deliverance from distress, from frustrations, from wars, from worries, from upsetting situations. Papa, total deliverance. Papa, total deliverance from a life of distresses, from a life of frustrations, from a life of wars, from a life of worries, from a life of fears, from a life of upsetting situations. Papa, deliver me. Papa, deliver me. Papa, deliver me. Can we pray that prayer one more time? Say, I claim it. Say, I claim it. Say, I decree it. Say, I receive it. A life of total deliverance from a life of distresses, from a life of frustrations, from a life of wars, from a life of worries, from a life of situations that up Set a man in the name of Jesus. Deliver me by fire. I want you to pray tonight. God will take away from you wars and warriors. Did you hear that? Wars and warriors that, that fight your peace, that threaten your peace. Say, oh Lord, separate them from me. All wars and all warriors that fight my peace, that threaten my peace. I bind them in the name of Jesus. I bind them with chains of fire. 
in the name of Jesus. Wars and warriors, you will not follow me into 2023. I bind all wars. I bind all warriors. Banish them, O Lord, from around me, O God. Rest and peace, rest and peace, rest and peace. Rest and peace, rest and peace, rest and peace. Round about my life. Call them, come on, call them, call them, call them, call them, call them. Say rest and peace. Call rest and peace. Call rest. Call peace. Say surround my life. Round about like you gave to David. Papa, give me rest. Papa, give me peace. Round about. Rest. Round about. Peace. Round about. Let it be my portion. Let it be my portion. You know, you see some people in church and they are so sorrowful because something happened and it took away their peace. I want you to pray whatever takes people's peace. Be gone from me. Papa, give me, oh Lord, the same rest you gave David. The same peace you gave David. The Bible says God gave David peace and rest. Round about, Papa, round about my life. Give me peace. Give me rest. Give me peace. Give me rest. Like you gave to David. Like you gave to Israel. We read it in the book of Joshua that God gave Israel peace like he promised them from all their enemies. Say, my father, look around my life tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Say, oh Lord, look around my life tonight. Give me rest. Give me peace. Round about. Let it be my portion. Don't let it be David alone. Don't let it be Israel alone. Don't let it be Joshua alone. Add me to the list of those that have peace, of those that have rest. Round about. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says God deliver their enemies into their hands. I want you to pray tonight. Say, enemies of my peace. Come on, come on, come on. Be delivered into my hands right now. Enemies of my peace on the job. Enemies of my peace in my health. Enemies of my peace financially. Enemies of my peace in my ministry. Be delivered into my hands before 2022 is over. In the name of Jesus, I claim peace. I claim peace over all enemies of my rest. Over all enemies of my peace. In the name of Jesus, deliver them into my hands, O Lord. Let it be my portion. Let it be my portion. As you give Joshua rest, as you give Joshua peace, I want us to pray this prayer. Oh, hey. Even if we don't pray any prayer again tonight, we must pray this next prayer. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Say, as Joshua had rest, as Joshua had peace, Long before he became old. Did you hear what I said? Say, oh Lord, give me years of rest. Give me years of peace. As Joshua had rest. As Joshua had peace. Long before he became old. Oh Lord, give me years of peace. Many of us are in our 70s. We are still fighting wars. Many of us are in our 40s. We look like we are in our 80s because of war. Papa, rest. Come and give me rest. Don't let it be 80 years old before you give me rest. Don't let me be 90 years old before you give me rest. Give me peace right now while I'm still 20, while I'm still 25, while I'm still 35. Give me rest that I will enjoy peace, that I will enjoy tranquility all the days of my life. Father, the Bible says you gave Joshua rest and when he waxed old, he was in rest. He was in tranquility. He was in peace. Oh Lord God, don't wait till I'm too old before you give me rest. Don't let me continue fighting like this. Don't let me continue doing warfare like this. Papa put an end. Win for me like you want for David. Win for me like you want for Solomon. Win for me like you want for Joshua. Win for me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Peace, peace, rest. Be my portion at this age, in the name of Jesus. From now on, all the battles I have had, all the wars that I've had, that have vowed to follow me to the grave, I reject you. Go into your grave right now. All the troubles that have followed me till tonight, and have vowed to follow me to my grave. You go into your grave tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, let me not fight and fight and fight. Papa, let me not fight and fight and fight and know no rest till I grow old. Papa, now do something. Papa, tonight do something. Papa, this morning do something. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Papa, if you don't do something now, when will I enjoy my rest? If you don't do something now, when will I enjoy my peace. My hair is growing 
Oh my God, look at all the white, 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 white. Uh, at 20 something, at 30 something. Uh, I'm, I'm growing gray hair. My hair is falling out, uh, out of stress. Uh, Papa, sh- have mercy on me. Papa, have mercy on me. Papa, have mercy on me. Let me not fight and fight and fight and no, no rest till my old age. Uh, spirit of rest, uh, spirit of peace, uh, circle around my life. Uh, spirit of rest, uh, spirit of peace, uh, encircle my life. Uh, open your mouth and fire prayer tonight. Uh, say spirit of rest, uh, spirit of peace, uh, and circle my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, begin to retire them. Pray, 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 pray. People and powers, uh, people and powers, uh, people and situations uh, that have dedicated themselves uh, to troubling my peace. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, say, oh Lord, uh, I'm begging you tonight, uh, retire them, uh, retire the people, uh, retire the powers, uh, retire the situations uh, that have dedicated themselves uh, to troubling my peace. Uh, Papa, let me look for them. Let me not find them. Uh, Papa, let them evaporate. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I'm pleading with you, O oh Lord, uh, begin to retire the people. Uh, begin to retire the powers. Uh, begin to retire the situations uh, that have dedicated themselves to troubling my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I want you to pray that no power will be empowered uh, to take your peace from you from now on. Uh, no power will be empowered. No person will be empowered to take your peace from you. In the name of Jesus, they will not prevail over you in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, I claim the blessing of Solomon. I hope you are there praying tonight. Say, oh Lord, I claim the blessing of Solomon. No adversary, no evil occurrence. No adversary, no evil occurrence. No adversary, no evil occurrence. Those are the things that take away peace. Oh, adversaries, evil occurrences. They take away peace. But the Bible says of Solomon, he looked for evil occurrences. He couldn't find them. He looked for adversaries. He couldn't find them. He had peace. Papa, give it to me. Papa, give it to me. You are not a respecter of persons. In the name of Jesus. You know what the book of Job says? When God gives peace and quietness, who can make trouble? When God gives peace and peace and quietness, who can make trouble? Say, oh Lord, stop them. All trouble Makers, give me peace and quietness from all troublemakers, all troubling situations. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, give me peace by all means. Say, Papa, give me peace by all means. In the name of Jesus, can we pray the prayer of wicked Nebuchadnezzar? Can we pray the prayer of wicked Darius? Say, Oh Lord, let peace be multiplied unto me. Come on, open your mouth, please. Nebuchadnezzar prayed it to Darius, prayed it to. I want you to pray it to. Say, oh Lord, let peace be multiplied unto me, oh God, from tonight. Let peace be multiplied unto me at home, at work, in my health, in my finances, in my business, in my academic life. Multiplication, not addition. Multiplication, not addition. Multiplication, not addition. Multiplication, not addition. Multiplication of peace. Multiplication of rest. That's the prayer of Nebuchadnezzar. Oh Lord, give it to us. Multiply peace to us so in the name of Jesus. Jesus add upon the, our life uh, peace upon peace. Uh, what about the prayer that David prayed for Nabal, the wicked Nabal? Uh, David prayed for him, oh, and I want you to pray for yourself. Say, oh Lord, let me live in prosperity. Open your mouth and pray. Uh, let me live in prosperity. Let me have peace. Oh Lord, in my house, let me have peace on all that I have. Peace at home, peace with my children, peace for all I have, prosperity for all I have. Father, peace, peace. Let me live in prosperity. Let peace be to me. Let peace be to my house. Let peace be to all I have. In the name of Jesus. Papa, let peace be to me and all that I have. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Give me your covenant of peace. Don't take Take your covenant of peace from me, O oh God. Strengthen me with your covenant of peace. In the name of Jesus, peace like a river. Let it be upon my family. Peace like a river. Let it be upon my children. 
peace like a river in the name of Jesus. He told David, he said, your son Solomon will be a son of peace. Ah, let's pray for our children as we close. Say, all my children, let them be children of peace. Let them be children of rest. All my children that you have given me, that you will yet give me, I decree tonight, mention their name to God, names to God. You will be children of peace in the name of Jesus. Let my children, oh Lord, my children's children, oh God, let them be children of peace and rest. Let them be children of peace and rest. Give them peace and rest from all spiritual enemies, from all physical enemies, from all psychological enemies, from all emotional enemies. Pray for your children, born or unborn. Mention them by name. Say, oh Lord, give them rest, physical enemies, psychological enemies, emotional enemies, academic enemies. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you give our children rest like you gave Solomon. In the name of Jesus, say, oh Lord, our children, give them peace and quietness all the days of their lives. Oh Lord, the battles that we fought, let them not inherit them. The battles that I fought in life, let them not inherit my battles. And where they have inherited them, deliver them and give them peace. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, as we leave this prayer, I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, give me peace by all means. Peace by all means, Papa. Peace by all means. I stretch out my hand to you tonight. Papa, give me peace by all means, please. Papa, give me peace by all means in the name of Jesus. Papa, give us peace by all means. In the name of... Say, I receive peace in every area of my life. By all means. In the name of Jesus. Begin to give God the praise. Begin to give God the glory. I wish we had more time. But I think we, we did. We covered all 54 prayer points. Oh, Lord. Peace by all means. We thank you for peace tonight. Come on, thank him for peace tonight. Thank him for the Prince of Peace tonight and the peace he has given you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the answer tonight. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Child of peace, I pray for you tonight. As you leave this prayer line, may God give you loads upon loads of peace. May that gift be given to you round about that like Solomon, like David, there will be no evil occurrence. There will be no troubles that will take your peace away from you. I pray that the covenant of peace, there will be a signature on it by you and by the angels of God, that God will give you peace by all means at all times. Enjoy your peace that the world cannot even understand how. Thank you, Father, for the answer. We we'll bless you and we we'll worship you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. I wish we had more time, people, but I think we covered it. You might want to go back to the prayer of yesterday on joy. You might want to go back to the prayer of today on peace on all our platforms and listen to them and pray them all over again. It will do you a lot of good. Couple of announcements before we go home tonight. Morning service on Sunday morning. That will be Christmas Day. Yeah. We are coming to church on Christmas Day. Oh, 10 a.m. Special Christmas service. The children will have a presentation. The women's choir will have a special presentation. And a lot of, they sent me the program today. It's loaded. It's loaded. And I'm going to preach a sermon. The shortest sermon you've ever had me preach on Sunday. It's called, it's not even a sermon, it's a sermonette about an important personality surrounding the birth of Jesus. Amazingly, nobody talks about this important personality, yet he played a major role regarding the birth of the Savior. Join on Sunday morning. It's loaded and you're going to be blessed. 10.30 a.m. online. Wow. It's going to be the expanded version of the sermon I preached on Sunday, six miles from Jesus. Wow. You don't want to miss that. Six miles from Jesus. Don't miss it online. That's 10.30 a.m. That's our Christmas sermon online on Sunday. I got some good news for you. There's no Sunday school on Sunday afternoon. There's no Bible study on Wednesday night. The next meeting we are going to have after Sunday morning will be on Thursday and on Friday prayer meeting at 7 o'clock here. And the theme of our prayers next week will be, believe it or not, 
finishing strong. You know, you still got about two days to finish strong. That will be our prayer on Thursday and Friday. So between Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you're going to finish strong. 2022. Please join us for all these meetings. God will bless you as you do. Shall we share the grace as we take our peaceful rest tonight? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And amen. Thank you so much for joining us. Go in peace. Good night.